Right, so for making your uh, welling plant pot holder or your um, pen holder, whichever you want to turn it into, you need to get um, all your bits and pieces together. So to start off with, we need a plastic pot bottle, a piece of cardboard. This is just I've cut off um, a box that I had something delivered with. Those strips of uh, newspaper or magazine um, pages, just just cut into strips. Some glue. I mean, I've actually got this um, paper mache um, paste. Um, it's like powder when you add water. Um, you could also use PVA glue if you've got that. Just add a bit of water to it, just to water it down a little bit. Or you can also, if you haven't got any of that, you can go um, to the local hardware store and get some wallpaper paste. Same thing. So, but make sure it's not too stodgy. But um, so yeah, you got your um, your paste. Um, you need scissors and a sharp pair of scissors. Um, you might need a little bit of help with a, a, an adult if. Um, we don't want you cutting yourself um, for cutting the, the plastic up. Um, you need some sellotape. Um, if you're going to do the plant pot welly, um, a plastic bag to go inside to stop all the, the soil and everything, making everything soggy. A ruler, a marker pen, and also some paints. Whichever you like, these are like acrylic paints you can choose whatever color you like and whatever you want to do to decorate it whether you want to put stickers on it sparkly bits just paint it whatever that's all all your choice and then also you'll need some soil um a little plant or a bulb or something like that for if you're doing the plant pot holder so that's what you need to start off with so if you get all those ready i'll be back in a bit Right, so um, we're starting off with the pot bottle. So this is where we're going to cut it up to make it sort of turn into the, the Wellington boot. So to start off with, we need our ruler oops, and our marker pen. So I'm going to start off with marking round the bottom. So I'm going to put it this way around. There we go, like that, so I can see what I'm doing. That's the marker pen. Right, so we want to mark six centimetres from the bottom up here. So six centimetres is about there. So I'm going to do that all the way around. But four places be enough, I think, just to... Just mark it every now and again. So we mark six centimetres around just to give me a rough idea. So this is where you might need a little help from an adult because you don't want you hurting yourself. So you need to cut all the way around where you've marked. So I'm just going to get the pointy end of the scissors. Again, please get an adult to help. And just push it in there. There we go. And then just cut all the way around. following the marks that you've made. Right, so there we go. So we've got your, I can see better with the, that bit there. So that's um, that bit. And then, so for the other bit of your, your welly, we're gonna, so that's sort of the bit that you put your leg in or whatever. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do 15 centimeters from the bottom up. So again, pick your tape measure, put it up against it. So again, 
will do 15 centimetres. So again, sharp scissors. Again, please get an adult to uh, help you with this one because it's uh, this one's a bit difficult. There we go. And cut all round there. start of your welly. So what we're actually going to do is turn the, the bottom bit of the um, coke bottle or pop bottle upside down, place that there and then the other one right next to it. So you've got that. So I don't know whether you can sort of see that will be right at the base of your, your welly. So what we're going to do now is um, get your marker pen again and then we want to draw around the outline of the um, the plastic containers in that sort of position there. So let's go around so it almost looks like a figure of eight. like a figure of it like a number eight or possibly a snowman <laughs> so uh, right we do that so once we've done that then we cut that out using a pair of scissors again you might need an adult to do this one for you but if not this one's not quite as uh, dangerous as the uh, the other one We're going to sort of uh, stick it with some cello tape to the bottle, then we're going to paper mache over it, which will hide everything. So there we go. Those bits away. Right, so place that there. Up there. So there we go. So to stick obviously these on to the, uh, the base, just get some sellotape to start off with and just basically tape it on there in places just to hold it still while you're doing your, your paper mache. Put that one. Put that one. 
say tape it onto the basin. So yeah, all I'm doing is just putting the sticky tape on the bottle and then underneath. It's just to hold it on. You don't have to do the whole thing, it's just enough to keep it sturdy. So there we go. There is the start of your Wellington boot. So the next thing we're going to do is actually paper mache it. So um what you need for the you need to get for that now is your glue and your um, strips of paper or magazines or whatever you've got um, to start doing that with. So go and get all that sorted, and I'll come back to you when you've got that ready. Okay, see you in a bit. Right then, we've got our glue and everything sorted. So um, so now for the paper mache bit, but first. I said earlier, plastic bag. You don't need to have the plastic bag if you're just using it as um, for putting your pens or anything in. This is just for if you turn it into a plant pot. It's just so the obviously the cardboard at the bottom doesn't get all soggy and horrible and you don't want the bottom falling out of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna put the plastic bag, I've just cut the Ziploc thing off the top. So that one, just put that inside the leg of the boot. And then I've just sort of go over the edge a bit. And then just to stop it moving around, just stick a bit of sticky tape on it. There we go, that'll do for there. So yeah, you've got your plastic bag inside. Okay, so we got that. Right, to start off with, um, obviously I've got my uh, me glue. Like I said, I'm using this paper mache glue. Just You just put water in a little bit of a bowl and just sprinkle a bit of the sachet and just um, mix it all up. I mean, it's um, just, yeah, just add a bit at a time and just keep mixing it until it all sort of turns into sort of like a jelly-like substance, really. And the same with wallpaper paste. Um, if you're going to use PVA glue, which that's perfectly all right as well, just um, put that in your little container and add a little bit of water just to make it a little bit runnier. Otherwise, it'll, um, it'll cost you a fortune in um, paint. It just um, it'll dry quicker as well if it's a bit runnier. Um, it'll go a lot further. So yeah, so we did do that. So uh, so we'll start off with because um, it's a bit difficult putting the glue straight on the um, the plastic. So what I tend to do is get me strips and just put those on with a bit of sellotape. tape. So just rip bits off. Doesn't have to be anything major. And then just go round. And just sellotape it. Just roughly, it doesn't have to overlap or look anything spectacular to start off with it's just something to give you a bit of a base for your glue so it doesn't all sort of slide down the side of your welly Yeah, so just put it like that. 
that so you can go over because you don't have to go down the dip there that bit there you can cover it up and also like if you've got um coke bottle pop bottle like i've got here with the um we don't have to do the dips you just go straight over it so again this bit just stick it all on as rough as you like Yeah, I've got a paper mache underneath it, so don't worry about that bit. I'm just sticking it on there to glue it on. Yeah, just do right long strips to start off with. Like so, yeah, just put the strips in just any direction. All we want to do is just cover this roughly. It doesn't have to. You don't have to cover every little hole or anything. So um, I'm going to carry on doing that, and you can do it as well. And then I'll come back to you when I've um, just roughly done all the the sticking with the silver tape. So you can see what it looks like. Right, okay. So I um, hope you've got your welly sorted. So yeah, I've done mine. So you can see, it's just roughly. Like I said, there are some holes, it doesn't matter. It's only just to give it a bit of a, a grip for the, um, the paste or the glue to go on. So yeah, I've just done all the way around like that. So that's it. Right then, so now we're actually going to start the paper mache in bit. So if you get your glue, just put that, start over. I'm going to start the top, but you can start wherever you want. Just put some glue on. Try not to put too much on. You don't want it sopping wet, otherwise it will take forever to dry. So, put that on. I'm actually going to put a little bit on the inside so I can fold it over a little bit. So yeah, get your paper, smaller sizes this time. And then, um, it's actually this one, I'm gonna go down there and over there. That's it. A bit more glue on that paper. Yeah, so just glue it down. Again, just keep ripping your bits and pieces up. a bit of glue over the top so just make sure that you go all the way around and cover it all and an easy way to well the way I do it to remember if you noticed I've actually put the first layer so it goes that way round so the second layer I'm doing that way round so I can see where I've been to make sure I've done it all so yeah so if you just do it that's just the way I do it just to remember so you've got it evenly Done. That's it. I'll just put a bit of glue over the top of it as well so the next layer will stick to it. Again, like I said, you don't want too much on, otherwise, it's if you get it too soggy. It'll take forever to uh, to dry, and also when you're doing it, if you overlap each bit of paper, so it'll make it a bit stronger. I'll come a bit, a bit 
closer so I've got a couple of more bits. So yeah, so what I'm doing, done that bit. So put my glue on. A little bit on the inside where I'm gonna go over and get my piece of paper and then I'm just overlapping it on that one. Just stick it over the boot thing. So so on the inside. It's just over overlapping there. And then put some more over the top. Stick it down and it's ready for the next layer. So we're going to go all round the boot doing that. So right. I'll leave you to that in a minute because you're not going to want to sit and watch me glue it all because that would be literally like waiting for paint to dry so yeah so what I want you to do now is cover it all like I've done on all going over the boot and everything and then you can either leave it to dry overnight and do another layer I think all together you most probably need about three three or four layers depending um, and then you need to to leave it to, to dry. So when you tap it, it feels it's like hard and it's solid. So um, I'll let you get on with that. And I will see you when um, you've got a paper mache boot and it's all dried hard. Because we need it to dry. Because if you paint it, it'll all go soggy and it won't look very good. So yeah. So paper mache it now about three, maybe four times, depending on what time you've got. Um, or... Um, how quick you want to get on with it and then um, come back to me when um, when it's all dry and ready right just before you go off and uh, paper mache your boot I just thought I'd show you um, mine and just give you a few more um, tips maybe so that's my boot all paper mache now so um, there's four layers I put on well there's the original layer with the sellotape and then four more on top with the glue. So, um, so I've yeah, done that. So um, what I did, like I said once before, if so you know which how many layers you put on. I've done one layer where all the paper was going that way. Then I got another layer that the paper was going that way. Then another layer of the paper's going that way. So you can sort of see where you've uh, you've been and also when it comes to the bit round this bit it's a bit tricky so try and use smaller strips of paper and then it won't be sticking up everywhere you won't be trying to sort of glue it down so use a lot smaller round um, these areas and that area as well and actually that area if you maybe go on a diagonal it's a bit easier so it lies um, nice and flat and then on the, I think it would be the second and the fourth um, layer, I've just gone, you can see, inside. I haven't done it on every layer, but I've just paint, just pushed it inside and glued it down there. And then I did the same with the underneath on the book, so on the last layer as well. So it goes, um, so it's nice and smooth and it's attached to the, uh, the cardboard at the bottom. So there we go, there's my boot. So if you're going to have a go at that and then come back, it's most probably in a couple of days when it's um, when it's dry. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the wetter it is, the longer it's going to take. So the idea is don't put too much glue on so it's absolutely dripping. Otherwise, it'll take about a week to uh, to dry out. But if you um, if you do it with as little as glue as possible, but obviously you do need it, you know, fairly saturated. But um, so, yeah, so. Once it's dried out, so when you sort of tap it, you can hear it's hard, um, then we can start decorating it. Okay, so there we go. Put that somewhere warm, put it by a radiator, something might dry out a bit quicker. So um, so anyway, I'll see you when um, you've got this far with your boot. Okay. Hello, hope you've got your, uh, your boot all uh, paper mache and dried out so uh, when it's dry it sort of makes a hollow hard noise um, so once it's dry then you can decorate it so and you can decorate it however you want to whether you want to put stickers on it whether you want to paint it 
whatever, whether you want to do um, get tissue paper and do more paper mache, but in tissue paper over the top, you can go for it, whatever you want to do. Um, I've painted mine, I've done mine like a sort of a stripy welly. Um, the only thing I'd say, if you're going to use lighter colours, I'd paint it all white first so you can't see the um, the newspaper print coming through. Um, dark colours, it doesn't matter because it'll hide it, but um, I painted mine white first and then I did the colours. Um, so yeah, so that's all now decorated and dried. So next thing we need to do is um, put our plant in it. If you just wanted to use it as like a pen holder or whatever, well, that's it, that's fine, it's, it's done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a nice plant in mine. So yeah, so remember we put the uh, plastic bag inside so um, the, uh, the soil won't go right down to the bottom of the boot. And also when you water it, which you must remember to do, which is I forget sometimes, but yeah, it'll, it won't make the, um, the Wellington boot all soggy. So I've got some soil, so I'm going to put that in first. Spilling it everywhere as usual. Bit in. There we go. Then I got this pretty little plant. Just take that out of the. Pop him inside there. And just fill a bit more soil all the way around. Make it sort of. Quite firm. If anybody does have a go at this, so wouldn't mind having a look at your pictures and seeing um, what you've actually, uh, how you've decorated yours. Because there's lots of different ways. There's no right way or wrong way of doing uh, your decorations. Bling it up a bit if you want, put some sparkles on it. There we go. Let's push that all in. So there we go. we go got our boot of a plant pot so there we go we can you do all sorts of things you can put um you can have it in your kitchen window and put some sort of um herb growing in it so if you like cooking with herbs you can let's say you could just keep picking it off so yeah you can do lots well, one thing I did think you could maybe if you've got a smaller um, plastic bottle, you can actually do three little ones and sort of row them up and have different herbs um, sticking out of the top of them for in, in your kitchen. So there we go. I um, don't know whether everybody wants to go at it, but there we go. So uh, something to do on these rainy days. Sun shining out there at the moment, but it's raining. You've got nothing else to do. You've done all your uh, schoolwork. Can have a little go at this. Okay? Right. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.